the robot's going to have movie quality, special effects quality, uh, makeup, and silicone skin. And if you've seen, you know, realistic silicone skin, it can look completely real. So if you're doubting my ability to execute as an artist, well, what are you basing that on? Because it can be done. Realistic silicone skin. You don't believe me, guys. Um, I mean, it gets real. Oh, this is this is my favorite. Look at this guy. Um, the guy that did this is is my favorite. I study his work. This is the kind of quality I want in the skin of my robot. He's going to look real. Real, 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 real. Wish I could help with the special effects. Oh, that's cool, Rainbow. But no, I don't think I'll want help. Look at that, guys. You don't think that looks real? You don't think that if you saw this dude at the gas station moving around... Opening up his car door, getting out, you don't th think you would be a little confused? You don't think that looks real at all? I mean, that looks like a dead man to me. That looks like a sleeping, real person. And this is special effects. This is makeup. This is silicone. His skin is made of silicone. This guy's a beast. An absolute beast. Look at that. So, it can be done. This is the quality I'm going for. Well, he looks dead because he doesn't look that lifelike. I'm not saying old, all old people look dead. I think all the age spots and pores help with the realism. If you try to make a young person out of silicone, it probably wouldn't look as good as an old person. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of work out nice that I'm getting older now, and all the signs of aging give you that added detail that gives added realism. My robot's not going to be a Wally bot. Wally bot. It's going to be a realistic, photorealistic humanoid robot. It's going to look like a real person. That is not pictures of people. This guy... This is Tom Flouts. Tom Flouts is a beast, guys. Look at this. This is all fake. These are not photos of... Look at that. Here's the fat suit in the making. They're both fake. These are not real people. <laughs> These are silicone models of people. So, imagine if I could tap into the skills of this guy, and then add in robotics. Imagine how freaky real that's going to be. That's why I study this guy. I, I have to be as good as him. I have to be that good. That's my choice. I want my robot to look real. <laughs> These are not just people. 